What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel import action figure review on the figure complex amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Deadpool. If you're trying to pick this up, you can pre-order right now. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Very interesting looking Deadpool, I very much like this packaging. I like all the artwork around here, this looks really cool, I like it a lot. And then on the side you can see, and there's text all over the place by the way, so definitely worth checking out the images over at Marvel news.com and you can see some Deadpool right over there on the side and you can see all the poses and all the interchangeable eyes and whatnot we get some stuff written in Japanese and it says he's gonna eat some sushi after he kills us oh boy and then on the side right over there you can see Deadpool again and then on top you can see some artwork and then on the bottom it says uh, check out the chump in the Deadpool tee all right anyway let's get to it and crack this thing open and before actually really cracking this thing open I want to say as you lift this open and it has no tape on it by the way you get these little comic book cutouts so you can go ahead and cut these out yourself if you'd like uh, this one says would you just relax and then this one says and then on this side this one says here comes Deadpool and then this one says ooh is that a mall? Eh, not the best but anyway let's get to it and really crack this thing open and here's Deadpool out of the packaging kind of inspired by the movie with this pose right over here I really like this figure a lot it is fun posing this thing around that's one of my favorite thing about collecting figures is being able to pose them around uh, the figure does come with its own stand over here I think that's great uh, now one thing that does stand out about it is that it is a Rebel Tech figure and the Rebel Tech figures have these interesting joints these unique joints which are basically like hot toys pegs but throughout the whole thing so it takes a little bit of getting used to with that if you're not familiar with rebel tech joints be warned there is a learning curve if you're already familiar with them then you know what you're getting and you're gonna have a great time posing this figure around it comes with a lot of accessories which just makes it very fun the stands very easy to use which makes it a lot of fun as well so when an import figure comes with a really cool stand it makes me very happy and I really like this stand a lot you can tighten these joints right over here with a little screwdriver if you'd like and they come fairly stiff not too stiff and then you get this clamp right over here that has a couple of support pieces on the top and bottom and you can remove this and you can actually port this peg right into the back of the figure so he does have a port right here on the back of his belt which fits very nicely I like using that one the most and then he has three ports right over here now here's his sheaths for his katanas oh, he has no hand right now but yeah you could just port this right here into the back like so and I think this looks really cool by the way but I'll get back to that in just a moment what I want to show is that if you move this off to the side you can still port this into his back if you wanted to use that particular port or if you wanted to shift this over all the way to the left you do that and port this one onto the right but to be honest with you my favorite way of using this stand is just porting it into that one uh, now these do not actually store any katanas at all you have these fake placeholders right over here and then it does come with separate retracted katanas which look fantastic I love the silver paint there's a dot on one of my ah, there it is there's that little dot that bothers me a little bit I tried taking that off with just my nail and it didn't come off right away so oh there it goes shoot ah, see look what happens when you try a little harder right but yeah nice looking sculpt right here especially on the handles and everything I think these look fantastic he also comes with his pistols I think these are desert eagles I don't really no, but I really like this metallic black that they have. I think they look awesome. Really like them a lot. And then he comes with interchangeable hands as well. You get a pair of fisted hands right over here. And then we get a pair of these katana slash pistol holding hands. And they're identical on the left and right side. Uh, holding the katanas is fairly easy. You just put it right there and he holds that very well. Uh, getting him to hold one of the guns though, it's a little trickier. You have to do some more finagling. But once you get that in there, get that right. Come on, man. Yeah, there it goes. And that holds very well. So that's really cool. We also get these wide open hands right over here which I like. Then lastly, he has two thumbs up hands. Right on. I like how we have the seam sculpted right in there. That looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm very happy with the interchangeable hands. And they do plug onto the figure wrist pegs very easily. So you just get them on there. It's very simple to do. So I like that. And I forgot to mention, he has this little nifty stand right here. I like this. This is like this little dash effect kind of thing, which I think looks pretty awesome. I really like playing with this. I like this pearlescent white that we're getting right over here and it kind of fades down and you get that one peg sticking out. I just wish there was a little bit more space between the peg and this portion right over here uh, like as you can see as I put this 
on here, you can see the heel of the foot, you know, kind of steps onto that. So you can only, you know, you, you really could only have them, you know, using it this way. Or if you do it like that, you have to have the toes going upward. Yeah, just a little gripe. Now the figure comes with two head sculpts and five pairs of interchangeable eyes. And I like these head sculpts. This one right here is the closed mouth one. And then the second head sculpt right here, you can see his mouth is open. But the shape of the head is pretty much the same. Uh, they both have the same seams coming across the top right there and everything. And they both have a little, you know, Deadpool drip sticking straight out. I guess this one looks a little bit pointier than this one right over here. But they are identical. It's just really the mouth section is what's different. Now, you can interchange these eyes. Uh, you can see that he has the angry eyes right there. Then these are his squinty eyes. And you get this little tool. So you can just poke this from the back right over there. Ooh, that's what she said. And then you can just poke that one right over there, and then you can see that you can swip, swap them out with any of these other eyes, or the ones that came with the other head sculpt, you can do the same thing and pop these ones off as well. So you get these heart eyes, you get these wide open eyes, and then you get these little squinty eyes. Now these ones right here are the same. I got two left big eyes right there, so that's frustrating. So I can only use this one, you know, I don't need to use both, so it looks really weird when you put them both on there. Oop, there goes one of them. But just to demonstrate, I don't know, let's use the heart eyes, I think these are pretty Pretty neat. Uh, you can just pop these on. Very easy to do. There goes the first one, and then here comes the second one. So yeah, I really like that they did this. I think this is pretty awesome. I actually had some fun playing with the taco that came with the Legends Deadpool and using these eyes right over here. And then to swap the heads out, all you gotta do is just pop this off, and you can see that you get this little extra piece right over here, which is used for covering some of the joints and whatnot. And then we take this one that has the heart eyes and just port it right in there. And there that goes. And you can see how this little piece is needed so that it covers up that gap. And I think that works out pretty well. Now looking at the rest of this figure, I really like it. I love the sculpted details that we get. I love that you can see the suit stretching over part of the muscles and everything. We get some nice silver paint right over here. I do have some gripes. Um, now the shoulders isn't, you know, th this is one thing where it's kind of like, well, this is why, you know, you have a Rebel Tech and you're going to run into this issue where you're going to find some gapage getting it into certain poses, you know. You get two of these ball joints right over here so that could be a problem for some people but you can remedy it by you know just making sure you catch it at the right angle and whatnot so it could be a big bummer for some people I guess but you know for me I feel like I've always been able to work with it and figure ways out to you know make it look the way I want it to and then you get these pouches right over here that are sculpted on here and you get this really cool bit with these articulated pouches like they're all connected to this back piece right here so you can move them up and down I think that's really really good. Now one thing I don't like is that these pouches right here are all upside down. Uh, they're not supposed to be upside down, are they? I mean, that doesn't make sense. You just flip this open and then whatever's in there is just going to fall straight out. Yeah, there should be facing upwards like that. And it's not like there's, you know, a spot for another peg or anything. It looks like it was just designed this way. So I think that was an error. Another thing I don't like is unfunctioning weapon storage. I hate that. I see it with Hasbro figures all the time and I hate seeing guns right here that, you know, that, that you can't take out. It's not really the worst thing in the world because we already get these guns right here, but it would have been nice to be able to store these on the figure. I would have preferred that. Uh, same thing with this one right over here. You know, you have the two holsters. It would have been nice to be able to actually put the guns in those holsters. So that bothers me, along with this knife right over here that doesn't come out. You know, I thought I could take that out, but nope, it's not going to work. It's just there for decoration, and it's bent a bit, so I don't know. need a hairdryer or something to fix that. But uh, looking right over here, I like that you can see the Deadpool logo, and I really like how the legs look. I really like this glossy paint, too. This glossy paint is really good. I think it's very durable. There's only a couple of parts on the figure where I have scuffs, and I haven't really gotten any crotch scuffing or anything like that around here or on the upper thigh, so I'm very pleased with that. Looking right over here, you can see the big old Revel Tech joints right there. The shins look really cool. I love that we get these little kneecaps that move around. The boots look pretty awesome. Again, there's the bottom of the feet. And we get those Hulk pegs right over there. And looking at the back, once again, we get the Deadpool butt, and then there's the back. And then looking at the neck again, uh, one thing that did stand out to me at first was I thought that the neck was just way too long on this figure. I thought it looked really, it's kind of funny with the hearts right there. But then, you know, when I start posing them around and everything, it doesn't look that bad, but it is a very long neck neck 
but I can't really complain too much because I love the articulation. And speaking of articulation, why don't you hit that like button for segue points, huh? Anyway, you can move the head up very far with just the head joint right there. That is very neat. I like that a lot. Uh, with the neck joint and everything, you can get him looking all the way up right there. Torpedo pool, right on. And you can get the head and neck moving all the way downward. Of course, you get side to side movement right here. And you do get neck pivot. If you wanted to, you can turn the head joint in there, but I prefer to have it like that. I mean, that works just fine, so you can get the head pivoting side to side. That works out very well. Uh, like I said earlier, you get the two joints at the shoulder, so you can... Oh, there it is popping out, and you just put that right back in there, but you can get the arms moving all the way upward. You can move them downward. You can move them forward. You can move them in, so he can reach all the way across right here. Wow, that is very cool. And you can get him scratching his own butt. That's really good, so that's... <laughs> You know, it can look funny, but really, I mean, you're getting a lot of movement over here, right? Uh, you get rotation. I mean, it's all the Rebel Tech joints. You get rotation over here. Ooh, okay. Now, I did split this in half right here at the joint. Luckily, it did not break. One thing I've always kind of wished is that I, I wish Rebel Tech would include extra ball peg joints in case you broke any, but so far, I haven't broken any, so I guess they just will never really need to do that. But anyway, there's an the elbow going all the way in right there. You can rotate on both ends right there. Uh, you get the wrist joints and they move up and down. You get the diaphragm joint that turns side to side. He can crunch forward. Wow, just the diaphragm. It crunches all the way forward like that. And it moves back not nearly as much. Uh, you do get some diaphragm pivot in there as well as the side to side. Uh, you get waist movement side to side waist pivot in there and it crunches forward and it moves back that much. It starts to get a little bit gappy as you really start moving these joints around. I wish they added a little flap in there or something like that, but still, I mean, really, you're not going to notice it. You're usually going to be taking the pictures from the front anyway. And then you get some pivot in here as well. Uh, you get the hip joints that move outward very far. Wow, he can do the splits. He can kick forward very far too, so that's great. I like that. And he can move back some. Uh, you also get this weird mid-thigh joint right over here that rotates side to side and hinges forward and back. That is very interesting and unique, I think. A mid-thigh uh, pivot joint. It's, it's kind of weird. And then I just took this knee joint off right over there. Now, as I already mentioned, you can move the pouches up and down, so these are articulated. You can move them all the way outward if you wish. I haven't really tried taking these off. I guess if you wanted to take them off, I bet you could. Let's see here. Uh, I don't want to. Okay, yeah. So if you want to try taking them off on yours, go ahead and try it. Anyway, Double jointed knees moving that much, and you get the articulated knee pads right here, so you can rotate those side to side, move them in and out, and you can turn the knee side to side as well. You can turn the foot side to side, can move it downward, and you can move it upward, and then you also get the toe joints. And then here's Deadpool at his widest stance possible with both feet still flat on the floor. I don't think you can go any further than that. Any further than that, he's just gonna have balls to the ground. Damn, and you know, another thing I really like about this figure is that with all that articulation, even just seeing the figure vanilla pose like that, it looks very cool. Anyway, measuring this figure out, you can see that Deadpool is standing just a little over six and a half inches tall. And then here's a Rebel Tech Deadpool to two of my favorite six inch Deadpools. We have the Toy Biz Marvel Legends Series 6 Deadpool and then we have the Hasbro X-Men Wave Deadpool. Now, one thing I have not mentioned about this guy right here is that he does not come with a separate Wade Wilson head sculpt like these two each have. I would have liked to have had that. That would have been pretty cool, amongst with a billion other accessories. But, you know, still, I think this guy really stands well compared to these two over here. I mean, really, which one's your favorite out of the three of them? Ooh, yeah, good luck picking. And then to compare this Rebel Tech Deadpool to one of the last Rebel Tech figures I'd picked up, we have the TMNT cartoon show Leonardo. And I actually like the height difference between these two, right? This is actually pretty well in scale. I think they did a really good job with these. And to this day, I love my Rebel Tech Turtles. And then here's Deadpool next to another Marvel Legend. We have the Pizza Spider-Man. And man, I just love how well this fits in with Marvel Legends. That just scales perfectly. I'm very happy with that. And then here's Deadpool next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. And for those of you wondering when I'm going to do the full length stop motion on the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man, I am shooting for next weekend. Hopefully next weekend. Man, I, I gotta say I love this figure. I really love this figure. It is so much fun. I think it's taken me about three times as long as it would for a regular figure for me to review this just because I had so much fun posing this guy around in so many different poses. Really a great time. Now, one thing again to mention, you know, you do have to know how to work the joints as I like this pose, you know, as I turn it to the side, I get that.
that crazy gap right there. So you do have to be mindful of that. I do have that QC issue with that other big eye and I do have other gripes, but really, man, I have had a lot of fun with this piece and I highly recommend it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please recommend it to other people to watch. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below if you'd like. Uh, stay tuned if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button down below or stay tuned for the subscribe circle popping up over there. You can also see one of my previous videos popping up down right over there. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, and I took a lot of images, please check them out over at MarvelousNews.com. And then you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures. I'm posing action figures. I'm posing action figures every day.